So just now Ashley and I were walking down the sidewalk where I find I have the majority of my most interesting conversations with strangers and a woman walks up to me and says, quote, it could be worse. You could be missing your entire soul. You're welcome. Goodbye. Yeah, that was a direct quote to me, an amputee walking along with one leg. Let's just break this quote down clause by clause. Now she says, you could be missing your entire soul, implying that I am missing part of my soul as a result of having one leg, which I find very weird because I kind of was under the impression that your soul was the part of your consciousness that was entirely removed from your physical body. Like it is your spirit that has nothing to do with all of this region going on right here. Like in sci-fi movies when someone's missing like their whole body and it's just their head floating in some kind of sea of viscous membo brains and then it like bits put on like a body, I don't know, like in Robocop or maybe Darth Vader, I don't know, but Darth Vader he probably doesn't have a soul. Anyway, the point is that if you have your consciousness and then you're put on a robot, you still have your whole soul. It's not like you're like, oh, he's missing 95% of his soul, but he still has his head, so he's got like 5% left. No, you still have your whole, you either have your soul or you don't. It's like an all or nothing, like a pass-fail kind of situation. It's not as if I have three-fourths of my soul as a result of having one leg, although apparently that's what she was thinking. Like, there's some kind of fractional criminal equivalent, like maybe a leg is worth 18% of your body weight. So she looks at me and she's like, hmm, he probably has about 82% of his soul remaining. And that's what brings us to her next clause where she says, you're welcome. She doesn't pause for me to say, oh, thank you for this life-affirming piece of wisdom. She just assumes that, that's probably some good news for this guy. So you're welcome and keeps walking. So by saying you're welcome, she's assuming it's good news, which means I guess she was thinking either that I was really bummed out about having one leg or that I was assuming that as a result of having one leg, I had no soul at all. And so she was giving me great news like, hey, you might be missing your leg and you might think that means you have no soul. But I, as an expert on soul fractions, can tell you that you actually still have part of your soul, you're welcome. 